When John returned to his office, his brother was there. His feet were up on his desk, and the chair was leaning back precariously. Miles was thumbing through the latest issue of a tech magazine, but when he saw John, he casually tossed it on John's desktop and sat up. Where have you been, bro? I came to get you for lunch, Miles said, a broad smile on his face. I had a date, he said, wishing he didn't feel so unsure of his own blood. But until he got to the bottom of this, everyone was a suspect. That Gonzalez girl again? Miles asked, with a lift of an eyebrow. A business lunch, he said, but then wished he hadn't. Why didn't you ask me to come along? Miles asked, touchy as always about his role in the business. With a shrug, and to keep Miles from getting angry, he said, I didn't think anything would come of it. Just someone trying to talk me into looking at their building for our new office space. And, Miles said, and shot out of John's chair. No interest. It was in South Beach, but way too small for what we're planning, he said, making sure to emphasize the we're when he spoke. That seemed to mollify Miles a little. With a shrug, he said, it would be nice to be in South Beach. Miles loved all the glamour and partying in the area, but John wasn't convinced that was the kind of impression they'd want for potential clients. He favored a location in downtown, like the one they had for the startup he'd sold, but he didn't say. Do you want to do dinner tonight? He asked, changing the subject to avoid having the same old argument with his brother. Miles was too smart not to see what he was doing, but didn't challenge him. I'd like that, bro. Great, he said, and mentioned one of Miles's favorite places along the Ocean Drive Strip in South Beach. 